Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an actual zoom in out comparison between different objects. And as you can see, I have a human, the sun, the universe, and something else here that I'm going to show you at the probably in the middle of the video. So don't forget to subscribe because if you subscribe before we get to 10k subscribers, you can claim your 10k subscribers pass. So also don't forget to like and share because I'm sure lots of people would appreciate this fourth sprite. So let's get on with the video. So I'm going to be making a zooming in and out and if you can change the backdrops to make it, you know, like it can make it darker and lighter. So the first thing we're going to do is go to variables, delete this my variable, they're disgusting, and add a new variable called size. So you might actually not need that. So put the size for all sprites because there really is only one sprite and set size to a certain number, let's just say 100. And we're going to put a forever loop and two if statements. So if the size is under something, then we have to make it stop becoming smaller because we don't want to zoom in down to infinity. So if size is less than 20, then we're going to set the size to 20. So if it was 19, it would just go back up. So that makes a visual barrier. And then if size is over 200, we'll set size to 200. So those are our barriers. But right now, the size variable is just something we can change. It's not like interactable with the user. So we're going to do a when green flag clicked at the beginning, you need to insert a hide block since this will be a clone machine. You might be familiar with this, especially if you see in Griff Patch, Shift Click Learn or lots of my videos. So set the rotation style to don't rotate. You do not want these rotating around. And you're also going to make one more variable called clone ID and make it for this sprite only because if you didn't know this already, for this sprite only variables can be different for every single clone. So we're going to be setting the clone ID to one. So now we want to make a block called create clones of amount. And then we put an input called amount and run without screen refresh. So that it all runs in one frame because this normally takes very long. So we'll create the clones right here before the forever loop and you want to repeat the amount of clones you're making you can actually move this set clone id here you want to change clone id by one and before that create clone of myself so that's going to give every clone a different id that it can give itself so now they can each independently have their own variables and do different stuff so now we need to be able to actually control the size. So put a when right key is pressed or right arrow key. You can make this mobile. I'm probably going to make a video about that. You can do a change size by size divided by 150. So that's just going to slowly zoom out. And then you can do the same thing. So when the left arrow is pressed, or make it up, down, up arrow and down arrow because did you know that um, when you press the up arrow it's the same as scrolling so you can actually do the same thing so you can change size by 0 minus size divided by 150 because that's just the opposite so it's going to become smaller and then the next thing we need to do is make an object tool so we'll define create an object of a size and add an input of size then add a label of X position or just X pause and then put X position there in an input Then add another label that says Y position and then put that oh, why, have we, why have we been adding colons and then finally add an input at the end that says Y position so now we have this super long block run without screen refresh since it's not an animation and we want to, this will sound ridiculous, but set size to size, set X to X, and set Y to Y. Yeah, I know.
no. So now we need to actually get going with the sprites because these sprites can be very confusing to store. So we're going to store all of these variables for the sizes in a list. So we're going to make one list called sizes for all sprites, another list called x positions, and one more called y positions. You probably guessed that before. So we're not going to delete it when we start, but you can open these up on the screen so that because we can need to edit them. So there are three. You can choose the sizes, x positions and y positions after we put the code. So when I start as a clone, which will be one with a clone ID, you have to show because that's not going to show because the sprite isn't showing. So put a forever loop and you want to switch costume to a the clone ID. So that means that if you have these four, then if clone ID is three, it'll be the third, the third smallest one. It'll switch costume to this thing, the universe. So now we're going to actually have to program it. So we need to create an object of size and put item clone ID of sizes. So if clone ID is one, like it will be the first one generated, it will know exactly what size, X position and Y position to switch to. So it's going to item clone ID of sizes, item clone ID of X positions, and the same goes for Y positions. So that's actually all the clone, uh, all the clone code done. If you want, you could painstakingly put an if for every clone ID, but I think this works pretty well. So for the sizes, I'm going to choose just a random number. Let's just try five. And um, one more thing that I nearly forgot. You need to put all of that times the size. And then you need to put all of this times the size. Oh, why did I need that? So everything needs to be multiplied by size to make sure that when you actually change the size, then everything will move, so it'll constantly be changed. So let's just see what that did to our human. Okay guys, I think I found the solution to this. So remove the say hello. And we're going to have to be doing it the painstaking way I did earlier. So if you guys know what was going on, then just tell me down in the comments. So put if clone ID equals 1, then let's put size times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5. That should give us a human somewhere. So I think we'll have to zoom in really far. <laughs> Oh, okay guys, um, I just figured out the problem. I've been so silly today. So I'm just going to undo all of that. Go back to the expositions. And I realized I didn't even make any clones in the first place. So we're going to be wanting to make three clones. And now we can see them. I think that's them. We might want to make them bigger. Oh, that's why. Okay, so we'll make the sizes times 2, times 3, times 0. And now we should be able to zoom in. Is that it? No way! It's the human! So you can see, it kind of like makes a moving effect. And it's like zooming in and out, like you see in those comparisons you always see. So here he is, he's saying hello. And now we need to program the other items. So for the same, we're just going to put, say, the sun is bigger than a human. So we'll put it as 10. And X positions, we'll put that for 10. And I'll put that at minus 10. Then the universe is much bigger. So maybe like 50. I'm just saying, the guys, do not try this at home. The sun and the universe will react vigorously. And this is not to scale. So um, minus 100. I mean, minus 20. 
and this will be 50. Oh, I have, I'm worrying this will be big. Minus 80. And then the final thing that I wanted to show you was the fourth mystery costume. So I'm going to put that to 500 size because that's like the biggest thing, even larger than the universe. So X position will be 800 and the Y position will be 2000, maybe 1000. Okay, now we have all the X positions and sizes. I'll finally create four clones. I'll make sh uh, I'll remove all the size so that we can go as far as we like. So here we go. It's our human who says hello. Oh, there it is. The sun. Let's keep zooming out. Oh, what's coming? You can use the scroll as well. You can hear it. That's the universe. And I'm zooming out. Still more. Oh, what's that? And that's the biggest thing in the world. So you can see humans so tiny now. It's the biggest bird. <laughs> okay, so um, if you want, you can add as many items as you like, like I did in some of my projects. Like, if you see, I'm going to go to my profile. I made this thing called the Universe Size Comparison. It boomed in population. People loved it. It has three remixes. And people have been adding some more stuff to it. And I'm not sure what's going on here. But look at this. You have like the Earth, the Moon, Mercury. And you can add real photos. So there's two mountains. Pluto, Mercury, Earth, Neptune. And it doesn't just have to be for stars. You can make it for the micro world. And thanks to Lu Lala Lucas12345, Arian Patel21 for making these remixes because they're just honestly amazing like the art is okay but the fact that they tried to do it at least was amazing like look at this this has been updated arrows chicks of love very large map Rwanda. this is amazing so guys don't forget to follow their scratch channels and also a huge thanks to the person who's editing this video and he made a podcast online so it's called Theorize This. So don't uh, don't forget to listen to it. It's on Spotify. So Theorize This. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Subscribe so you can get your 10k pass. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm the biggest bird. I'm the biggest bird. I'm the biggest bird. I'm the biggest bird. I'm the biggest bird.